Hey everyone, it's Dee from Quixby. Thanks for tuning in. Today I am going to talk to you about paper jams and ink that comes out on your sublimation print. Now, um, this recently happened to me. Can you, I don't know if you can see that. My sublimation paper got chewed up in one little corner there. It sounded absolutely insane as it went through the 2720. And then my second print started to um, wrinkle in the corner as well and started printing the print, but I mean, it was all crooked. And then my third print did the same thing. The corner just would absolutely not grab on um, to the paper. And it just, it sounded, <laughs> it just sounded like it was absolutely shredding inside of the printer. So um, I did, I went through actually like the roller cleaning process and it helped tremendously, tremendously, which is why I'm bringing it to you today. So I just want to show you that that roller cleaning setting on the Epson 2720, it's not just to clean ink off of the rollers. It actually did help solve um, the issue of the, the uh, printer just like grabbing my paper way too fast and um, really destroying every single corner. So I'm just gonna walk you through the settings in case you're having the same problem. It is the same settings that is used to get rid of um, leftover ink or too much ink on your rollers that prints, that prints out like black ink across your freshly printed sublimation print, like of course, right over somebody's face. Um, it's the same setting that you would use for that, and I'm going to show you how to do it in the Epson 2720, okay? If that sounds like something you're interested in learning, stick around. See you at the printer. All right, everyone, here we are in front of my 2720 Eco Tank, and I hit the home button to light up the printer, and we are going to make sure we head on over to the maintenance icon, and you just use that little arrow key to move around. Here it is, the maintenance icon. We're gonna hit okay. Now we see we'll have six options, nozzle check, head cleaning, power cleaning, print head alignment, reset your ink level, and the last one, which is what we want, paper guide cleaning, yes. Now, if you have a different printer than the 2720, you might see different options in here but just look for paper guide cleaning. Now we have two options, back and proceed. Let's click OK to proceed. Okay, you're gonna be asked to load cleaning sheets in the rear paper feed. Now I just use regular clean copy paper, but you can go ahead and buy a cleaning sheet if that's what you'd like to do. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So I have copy paper loaded in the back and my options are back and start. I'm gonna press start. Now, what you can't see is that it's just feeding the paper through um, to the front. It's just going through the printing process, even though it's printing absolutely nothing. What it's doing, though, is it's cleaning the rollers. And I like to do this process at least three times. If you're trying to remove ink, you're going to do this process until your paper comes out clean. Now, don't reuse this paper in your sublimation. Like, don't use it for blowout paper or anything like that because there are going to be little trace blotches of ink that you might not even be able to see with the naked eye. But believe me, they are there. So you're going to use clean copy paper, but you're going to throw this copy paper away um, because there will be sublimation ink coming off and adhering to this paper from your rollers and do it until it comes clean if that's the reason you're um if that's the reason you're doing it and if you're doing this because your paper keeps jamming like in my case when i keep getting crinkled corners then i go through this process with copy paper like three times maybe sometimes four or five but usually three times will make it last for quite some time all right guys welcome back i hope you found that um, beneficial. If you've never seen that setting on the printer 
Um, that is definitely something you are going to use quite regularly with sublimation. Um, ink does have a tendency to build up on the rollers and you will notice it maybe, you know, maybe you notice it immediately, but maybe it takes you, you know, 50 prints before you notice anything um, like ruining your prints, but it will happen. And when it does happen, that's the setting that you would use to put your rollers through a cleaning process. And um, the reason I don't use cleaning sheets anymore, um, I used to, and they're fine, but I did kind of ruin a printer one time, I think, by using a cleaning sheet. It wasn't, um, you know, they're really hard to come by. Like to, to buy an Epson cleaning sheet, they are on the Epson website, but they don't have like an add to cart feature or anything like that. So you're going to be left with um, off-brand cleaning sheets. I think Office Depot or Office Max makes one. Uh, but there's really no guarantee that it is the right cleaning sheet for your printer. And I guess I just don't want to send something through the printer that's actually going to ruin it like I did years ago with a cleaning sheet. In, um, in just a regular office printer. So I guess I just have um, a bad feeling about cleaning sheets. That's why I don't use it. I'm not saying don't use it, I, that, but that's just not, that's just why I don't personally use them. I find that just running several pieces of paper, clean, like brand new clean copy paper does the same thing. You know, it's, uh, you just have to do it um, a handful of times and really it's the same thing. So that's why I don't use a cleaning sheet, but they are out there. If you go to Amazon and just type in the search bar cleaning sheet, you'll probably see a handful of products, but um, I don't know. For what it's worth, I don't I don't recommend it. You might be fine, but um, I can't help but think that cleaning sheet ruined my printer years ago. Anyway, I hope you found this information beneficial. If you did, please thumbs up on the video hit the subscribe button. Until our next video, happy sublimating, guys. Take care. Bye.